Hi, it's Alex here from Brainstorm Force, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a sticky header to the top of your website with Astra Theme. So let's just be clear on what a sticky header is. A normal header looks like this. When you scroll down, it moves with the page, it disappears out of view. Whereas a sticky header looks like this. And basically when you scroll down, it sticks itself to the top of the screen. It's always visible and it's always accessible. But why would you want a sticky header? Well, personally, I think they look pretty cool, but there's also some other good reasons as to why you might want to implement one. One good reason is that it gives easy access to your navigation and to your links. It's always visible, it's always available. This in turn can improve usability, especially on pages with a lot of content by having the navigation clearly stuck to the top of the screen. It can make navigating and using the website a bit easier. Aside from making navigation easy, another good reason is to reinforce your branding. By having your logo and your name constantly visible, it reinforces your brand and your identity. This in turn builds on the overall professionalism of your website, which in turn can build trust. If you have a call to action in your header, maybe a button with a buy now or a sign up, well then having it stuck to the top is a great way to increase the conversion rate on that. People aren't gonna miss it if it's always available. When people access your website on a mobile phone, having your header stuck to the top can make navigating your website a bit easier. They don't have to continuously scroll back to the top to get to the links. They're just always available. So hopefully those reasons have convinced you that a sticky header might be a good thing to implement on your website. So I think we should jump on the computer and get started. Let's go. So here's the website that I'm gonna be adding the sticky header to. It's running Astra Theme and I've installed a starter template and that's about it. I've not made any other changes. Now, in order to use sticky headers, you do need Astra Pro. So make sure that you upgrade your license to one of the Pro packages. Unfortunately, you can't do sticky headers with the free version of Astra. So once you have upgraded to Astra Pro and you've installed the Astra Pro plugin, you're gonna to wanna to go into your dashboard and then into Astra and dashboard. And then in here, you wanna scroll down and we just wanna turn on sticky header. It's right here, so let's just toggle that switch and it's activated and ready to go. The next thing we need to do is to customize our header. So let's go into customize up here under Astra. Then into the header builder. And then in here, we can see that we've got our header types. This is running the transparent header. You can see that because uh, the background is behind the header. And then here we've got the sticky header. So let's go into sticky header and turn it on. So we have three options here in terms of what we can stick to the top. There's the above header, the primary header, and the below header. And these are reflected down the bottom. So let me just show you the differences there. So the above header sits above this primary header. Let me just show you by adding an element. Let's just add a button. So you can see it's this area up here. So if we stick that, we can see that that stays. And then there's a similar thing that you can have below the primary header. Again, let me just add something so that we can see. Let's just add this search. That would be a strange place to have a search, but hey, just for this example. And then we can see that that sticks as well. I'm gonna turn those both off for now because I'm just gonna focus on the primary header. Let's get rid of these elements that I added. And we're back to where we were. So if we stick the primary header by toggling that switch there, we can see that it's now sitting above um, the site really nicely. Another option you've got here is the shrink effect. So it will just make the header slightly smaller when you scroll down, you can turn that on and off right here. There's a couple of nice animations to choose from. We've got the slide animation here. Let me just show you what that looks like. So if I select slide and scroll down, you see it kind of disappears for a second and then it slides down from the top. And then we've also got the fade animation. Let me just show you that. So you scroll down and then it just fades in. I think that's my favorite. Here we've got the option to enable on the desktop or just on the mobile or on the desktop and mobile can of course see what it looks like uh, on a mobile by coming down here, clicking on the mobile phone, and then we can see what it looks like. 
Okay. Now on the mobile, you can see it's got a, a kind of white background, which makes it a lot clearer. Whereas on the desktop, we don't have a background. So it's kind of getting a little bit lost because of the transparency of the header. So let me just show you how you can adjust the colors and make it stand out a little bit more when you are scrolling down. So if we go up to the top and hover over the header, you see there's a couple of pencils that appear. If we click on this pencil up in the top left, that brings us up some options for the primary header. If we go to design, there is a few options here in terms of background color. So let's take a look at these options. If we click on here, we can set a background color. So maybe just by darkening the background a little bit, that will raise everything up. So we could choose a, a kind of gray kind of color here, like that. And maybe set the opacity somewhere in the middle. So we've got a little bit of um, kind of transparency effect there. Let's click publish. And let's turn on the background blur as well. What this would do is it will blur the background as we scroll. So let's uh, let's do that. It's a really nice effect. You can see that as the site's going up there, it's kind of blurring it. We can turn it off if you like, so I can show you the difference. Without it, you can see the whole thing. But I really like that effect. I'm going to turn that on. Okay. Now, the other thing that's happening is when we scroll, the colors of the links are changing. They're going darker, which, again, makes them quite hard to see. So I'd like to set them to be white as well. So to do that, I'm going to come over here, click on the little pencil, go to Design. And then if we scroll this panel on the side down, we've got the menu colors here, but then down here, we've got the sticky header options and we can set colors here for the links. So I'm gonna make them white, the same as uh, when we're not scrolling like that. And for the moment the hover is green and so is the active, I think that's probably gonna work okay. I don't know, let's publish and take a look. Sometimes you need to publish and refresh in order for the changes to be reflected. So let me just refresh the page. Then if we scroll down, there we go. We can see um, everything a lot clearer now with the white. So that really is all there is to it when it comes to sticky headers. It's very, very easy, very straightforward. The only other option I'll show you is within the header builder and within sticky header you've got the option to set a different logo for the sticky header. So when you scroll, you can change the logo to something else. Maybe you want something smaller, something a different color or something completely different. You can set that in here and you can have a different logo for Retina as well. And obviously a Retina logo should be twice the resolution of a normal logo. Then one other final option I'll show you is the hide when scrolling down. So if you check this, uh, what happens is when you start to scroll, the header disappears. But when you scroll up, it appears again. Did you see that? Let me scroll down a bit further. Then if we scroll up, there you go, it sticks. So scroll down, it goes, scroll up, it's back. Uh, another nice little feature that you can turn on if you like. And that brings the end of this video. Hope you've been able to implement your sticky header successfully. Let me know in the comments how it went. If you're looking to improve your website even further, now you've got that sticky header implemented, why not check out this video where I take you through 11 of the biggest web design mistakes that could be having a big effect, a big negative effect on your website. Do go check it out, you'll find a link in the description. If you like this video, do click the like button, I really appreciate it. And if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do so to avoid missing any upcoming Brainstorm Force videos. Until next time, I wish you the best of luck with your websites. See you later.